Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, hi, welcome. My name is Melissa. And today I have a huge Walmart pickup grocery haul for you guys. Um, I know last week we did not have a grocery haul because I've been kind of shopping for about two weeks at a time since we are been in this lockdown quarantine, whatever you want to call it. Um, but this time I am sort of shopping for hopefully about a month or more. Um, this will not be my only grocery haul that you guys will see this week. You're actually going to see two grocery hauls. So you, you will have this one today from Walmart. That was a pickup because I'm just trying to, you know, be safe with social distancing. And then I'm doing a ShopRite pickup as well in a couple days. So you will see that one as well. Um, so this will be up on Sunday, obviously when you are seeing it. And then Monday you will see my Misfits Market unboxing. So I will be getting that as well. That will be all of our fresh produce for the week or two. Um, and then Tuesday you will see my ShopRite haul as well so you'll get lots of grocery hauls this week you'll see what we are stocking up on for the whole month or possibly more we will see how long this will all last us um, we are also getting some um, my kids are getting some like lunches from their schools and things like that so that's kind of been a little bit helpful as well um, maybe moving forward uh, this month we will do like some pantry you know maybe I'll show you what's in our pantry or what's in the fridge so you guys can see what's left um, maybe I'll do some what's for dinner videos I know I've been a little bit slacking lately with the videos but I'm going to try to get back on track it's just I don't know just been one of those months I'm sure we're all kind of feeling it right now um, so this is I'm gonna have to I'm gonna start with some of like all well, the pantry items first because like I said this is a huge haul so I'm gonna start with like the pantry items then we're, I'm gonna show you the cold stuff and then I have a lot of um, some non-food items as well that I needed um, so let's get into this and let me show you what I got for hopefully like I said hopefully about a month or so all right so we're gonna start over here and unfortunately since we I can't go into Walmart I can't go look for my Clarence bread so we don't really have any bread the only only bread item I have is their, these tortillas I am going to be ordering um, and hopefully it will be in stock some flour from ShopRite so we're gonna be doing like some homemade bread um, but yeast is hard to find. Have you been able to find yeast, like dry yeast in your stores? I actually had to order it from Amazon because I could not find it anywhere. So we're going to be making some homemade breads and pizzas and things like that. Um, so anyway, so I did get up, I did get some flour tortillas. So I got two packages of those. Uh, we have some birthdays coming up. My, I know I mentioned it in my last grocery haul, myself and my son, we love Mexican food. His birthday happens to be Cinco de Mayo and he does love Mexican. So we're going to be doing Mexican. So I got these. Um, and also, um, I don't know if I'm going to get to sh put all the prices in for you guys like I usually will do because it's just so many items um, and I just want to get this up for you guys as soon as possible, but we'll see. If, if, the pr if I do get a chance to do it, the prices will all be on the screen, but I will let you guys know the total at the end and everything also will be down in the description bar as well. But um, And then also, if you are new to Walmart Pickup as well, um, they sometimes will substitute items, so I will let you know um, what the substitutions were as well as we go along. Um, I also got a bunch of peanut butter because, you know, peanut butter is a great staple to have in the house and my family enjoys it a lot. So you can only, the other thing with the, with pickup, you can only get a limit of two of any, any item, no matter what, what it was. So I just wanted to make sure we had enough. So I got two, this is the one I usually get. Um, and this is the creamy natural and it is actually cheaper to buy the smaller container. Just be aware of that guys always check. Um, you know, compared to the, the prices and the ounces. Um, sometimes it's cheaper to buy the bigger ones, sometimes it's not. Um, so I did get two of the, um, the smaller ones, and these I believe were $1.18. Um, and then I got two of the Peter Pan Natural as well. I try to get the ones that are somewhat better and don't have too many, you know, like the hydrogenated oils and things like that. So I got, so all together we got four things of peanut butter. For myself, I've been somewhat trying to be stay away from peanut butter. I know, or peanuts. I know it is an inflammatory, but um, you know, being that we're in this lockdown, I wanted to have some something a little, you know, little fun, fun somewhat, I guess if you could call it, to eat. And I'm also planning on making myself a vegan keto. Um, it's going to be a chocolate cake. I'm going to use a swerve cake mix. I'm going to order that online, and I'm going to make a peanut butter icing so I wanted to have the peanut butter on, on hand for that as well because like I said it's my birthday and my son's birthday coming up in the uh, first week of May so anyway so I ordered two of these this is my favorite this is the organic the great value creamy peanut butter because this is only um is very low net carbs um let's see did they change the label see now the label says four net carbs per serving it used to only say one um so I'm not really 100% sure um, I guess I'm going to go with the four. It's still not still not bad, but this is my favorite because it's just basically just peanuts and salt. That's what you want to look for. Um, and also, if you guys are new here, I do the vegan keto diet. 
Um, I have a whole playlist. I'll leave that linked right above here. If you guys want to see, I've lost over 80 pounds in over a year. So I will share that playlist for you guys right here. Um, so they, I did order two of these, um, but they only had one in stock. So they just replaced it with the Smuckers Organic, which I've had this one before. It's not bad. Um, and I believe the macros are probably the same. Actually, this one seems like it has less. So um, I'm thinking they might have changed the label recently on the Walmart one. So maybe I'll just transition over to the Smuckers one since this one seems to have less carbs now. But overall, not too bad. So we've got two of those. Um, and then let's see, let's jump up here because we got a ton of snacks and hopefully everybody can make this last for the month. We shall see. So I got one uh, bag of the Jalapeno uh, Jack Tortilla Chips. Um, and also, if you're new here as well, we have a mixed family of, we have two vegans, like I said, I do vegan keto, so we have two vegans and two non-vegans, so there's always a variety of different things in, in the hauls, and you do, I do try to specify if certain things are vegan, uh, you know, obviously like this, you know, it has cheese in it, so it's not going to be vegan. Um, so I got one of those, we got two bags of the bite-sized tortilla chips, I like to keep these on hand um, to do like uh, nachos for dinner and things like that, it's a great, you know, quick meal, because you can just kind of throw everything together, throw it on a baking sheet and throw it in the oven, so I got two of those. Um, and I think those were only 82 cents per bag. It is cheaper, just so you guys know, to get the party size, but being that I wanted to save these for like separate dinners, I figured I would just get the two separate bags. That way it will stay fresh longer. Um, got two bags of the mini pretzel twists as well. These are only 88 cents. You know, great, you know, inexpensive snack to have on hand. My daughter likes Takis. Now I didn't realize um, that only the purple bag is vegan, but I don't think they had the purple bag when I looked on the pickup. So I did get the, the ones in the grain bag, um, but these do have milk. So if you're one of my vegans, these are not, these are not vegan, um, but my son I'm sure will enjoy them because he likes the spicy chips. Um, but I did get for my daughter the, um, just a great value corn chips. These are like, you know, basically their version of Fritos. And I think these were like $1.64. I think the Takis were like $2.50. Maybe I'll just tell you guys the prices as we go along if I remember. It's probably our best bet at this point. Um, I did get the Cheetos. They, I did order the, if you saw my last grocery haul, they were the jalapeno. What were they? He's not listening. Sorry, I was trying to get my son to answer, but I think they're jalapeno, hot jalapeno something Cheetos. Anyways, um, but they substituted, they must have been out, and these are, they substituted with the Flamin' Hot, so he got those. Uh, let's see, I also grabbed a box of the Cinnamon Graham Crackers. I just figured this would be some, you know, like a just simple snack that they could have. Um, and I think these were only 88 cents for the box. For my husband, he likes to snack on peanuts, so I got two of these, hopefully this lasts him, because this is a lot, two of these huge uh, containers of peanuts, the dry roasted. Now, just be careful, um, and I know one of my subscribers, I don't remember who it was, if it was you, leave me a comment down below, but I know a while ago, one of you guys mentioned that some of the peanuts, be careful, does have gelatin, so they're not all vegan. I think the Planters has, be, uh, is, um, has gelatin in it, but I'm not sure of other brands. So this one is not, totally clean so if you're somebody who's you know watching your ingredients and stuff it does have malodextrin there is no gelatin so there is they are vegan but there is malodextrin in them so just be careful but you know right now we're just you know we just gotta we kind of have to make do with whatever we can get you know especially because I'm trying to avoid going into the source um so I got two of these these were three dollars and 93 cents each Let's see, last for snacks, I grabbed these for my husband's lunches. These are the Austin, like the cheddar cheese, you know, snack, you know, cracker sandwiches, you know, individual size packages. I got three of those. I think these were only somewhere around $1.50 a package. So I thought that was a pretty decent deal. I usually a lot of times get these at Dollar Tree. Unfortunately, I have not been to Dollar Tree since we've been in a lockdown, so I'm, I'm missing it. I hope Do Dollar Tree misses me as much as I miss Dollar Tree. Anyway, so I got three of those. Hopefully, these will last, you know, for his lunches for the next few weeks. I also, these are my favorite drinks. I love these. I wish I could get more of them, but they would only allow me to get two of each. So these are the sparkling ice caffeine drinks. Um, I got the blue raspberry and the uh, black raspberry. I love the black one. is my favorite. I love that one the best. And those are $1.25. Uh, let's see, black tea I ordered, I think it was the Tetley brand that I had ordered. It was black tea with something else in it, but I, they were out of it. So what they did was they subbed it for the great value. And because the Tetley one would have been a little bit more, they just adjusted the price. Um, so if they do give you a item that is a lower price, they will adjust the price to the lower price. But if they give you a higher valued item, um, as you'll see when we get to the cold items, they sub some, subbed, um, I think, one or two things. 
they will just give you the lower price. So sometimes it can work out into your benefit to your benefit, or it always will work out to your benefit. But sometimes you will get a higher end, you know, item for the same for the cheaper price, which is always great that they do that. So this would be good. I've been drinking a lot more tea lately than um, than coffee, surprisingly, because if you're one of my regulars, you know how much I love coffee. But I just wanted to have this on um, on hand. Um, and these, this was a dollar ninety four. Also needed some seasonings. I got some ground cinnamon. Now, I think I had ordered the organic one. I don't. It doesn't really matter. Um, which was a dollar ninety eight, but they subbed it for the great value, which was ninety four cents. So they just charged me ninety four cents for that. Got to have the everything bagel seasoning. This was a dollar ninety eight, and then I also got some onion powder and garlic powder as well. Those as well were I think would like around ninety four cents, just like the cinnamon. Um, also got some baking soda. I got two of these. These were 48 cents each. I use these for, you know, just to keep on hand for baking. They're also great. It's also great for cleaning as well. Um, let's see. Also, I did order the Thai. It was a Thai kitchen, but it's the coconut cream. I do prefer the cream, um, which is a little bit higher carb. I think it's only like one or two carbs for maybe a quarter of a cup. It's not too, it's not really that bad, um, but they must've been out of it. So they did sub it with the coconut milk, which actually has very, which has no carbs, um, which is good. But I do like the cream because the cream has a lot more fat because I do like to have the extra fat in my diet and have like some healthier fats, but not bad. And then, and also the cream was a little bit more expensive. So what they did was they lowered, they, uh, they price adjusted it to the lower price. These I think were only $1.98 each. So I got them for the lower, um, the lower price. Uh, let's see. So birthdays coming up. Now we have some like baking items. Uh, we have birthdays coming up. Um, and a lot of times I do try to bake from scratch and I will, you will see there's some things I will be, you know, using for, you know, baking from scratch, but I'm going to keep it a little bit simple since we have two birthdays and we're going to do a keto cake and a non keto cake. Anyway, so I got some of this whipped fluffy white icing to make my son his cake. And then he requested, I know this is gonna be, might seem like an odd combination, but he wants a chocolate cake and then also a pound cake. So I don't know if we're gonna do these separate or somehow together, we'll, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, maybe I'll post some pictures on Instagram or maybe I'll do a, you know, birthday video. We'll see, you know, we'll see and I'll show you guys what we made. So make sure, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure also if you're not, if you're not following me on Instagram, go check me out over there. It's the same name, Steals, Deals and Meals and follow me so you can see pictures and things that, um, you know, I like to post on my Insta stories as well. So make sure you're following me over there. So the icings were actually $1.50 each. The pound cake, I believe these were $1.98 each. I got two of them because I wasn't sure how much I was gonna need. Um, you can always just keep an extra one on hand, if not. And then um, the Duncan Hines, because I would have I would have normally gotten the Great Value brand because it's cheaper, but they didn't have it. They were out of stock, so I got the Duncan Hines was only a dollar. Um, and just so you guys know, if you're one of my vegan viewers, you can veganize. Just be careful. Just double check your ingredients. But most cake mixes are vegan, but and you can veganize it. You don't have to use an egg. Um, and also sometimes, and, and especially nowadays where eggs are kind of limited, um, you know, even if you're not vegan, it's a great way to conserve your, you know, save your eggs for something else. Um, you can either use, um, replace every egg um, that it calls for with an eighth of a teaspoon of baking soda. Um, or you can also do like what they call flax egg, or you can do chia seed eggs. And there's a whole bunch of other egg replacers as well. Um, but I highly recommend the baking soda because it's very, very cost effective. Um, and like I said, where everybody's trying to get hold of eggs nowadays, you don't, you may not want to waste them on your cake mix or when you're baking. So it's a great way to veganize your items as well. Um, I also like to keep some, um, the keto friendly sweeteners on hand. I don't use these a lot because I don't really do a lot of keto baking. Um, but I just like to have it on hand just in case. And being that we're kind of stuck in the house, I might want to do some baking and, you know, um, anyway, so I, this is my go-to one that I've been using the Lacanto La monk fruit sweetener. Um, I do have some left, but I wanted to grab another one, and um, this was $5.97. I do like the Swerve one as well. Um, I feel like this one doesn't, as, and as much as I do love the Swerve items, I don't feel like this one has as much of that little sort of, it's not really an aftertaste. It's kind of like a cooling effect when you have it. It's kind of, I don't want to say it's strange, but you know, I don't really mind it so much, but I do love the Lacanto. I think I like the Lacanto better. Um, but I do love the Swerve cake, so you will see, um, hopefully, like I said, I'll post it. I'm going to make a my chocolate cake is the Swerve cake mix that they make, which is really, really good. I also like to have coconut oil on hand. This is a huge one. I got this one. This was 14, I think 14.97 um, for this big container of it. Um, you know, we use this for 
cooking, baking, all kinds of different things. Um, so I just needed a new container of it. I usually get it at Sam's Club, but I could not get a Sam's Club pickup order. Um, so I just got it from Walmart, which is perfectly fine. Also, one other thing um, that I had gotten was subbed was I had gotten the great value, you know, Lucky Charms cereal, I guess you could say. So they just subbed, they must have been out, so they subbed it with the Lucky Charms. Um, so I only paid $1.47. And the Lucky Charms probably, this probably is double the price. So that was a good, um, you know, that benefited me. Uh, let's see, more baking items. So we needed some sugar, and this is my go-to sugar. Um, if you're not familiar, sometimes, um, if you know, sugar can be processed through bone char, so that would not really make it vegan. So I do like to get this one because it does say it's certified vegan. It says it's not processed through bone char. Um, we love this one. We've been using this one for years. I sometimes can even find it at Walmart as well. It's a four-pound bag. It's only like $2, a really great price. Um, I also got some powdered sugar just to have on hand, just in case. Like I said, we're stuck in the house. If we want to do some baking, just wanted to make sure we had that. Uh, let's see, we're gonna jump down here. I got these are the, I don't know how to say that brand. I'm not gonna even try to say it, but these are chocolate chips. This is the closest I could get to. I usually get my chocolate chips at uh, Trader Joe's because they are vegan. And a lot of the other brands that Walmart has that are vegan are a little bit more pricier. Um, like they have the Enjoy Life brand, which is so good. We love that brand so much, but um, they're a little bit more pricey. So I was able to find these. Um, and these, I think, say, they don't say vegan, but they do say dairy-free. So at least they say the dairy-free on it. So I got two of those. These were, I believe, like right around $2.50 a bag. Not too bad. And then I got these as well. These were are not vegan. These do have milk in them, just so you guys know. But I just figured my boys were not vegan. Um, if I wanted to make something that was specifically just for them, I would have these on hand as well. And like I said, and because I can only do limit of two things, I just wanted to make sure I had enough. I also got for my son, he likes bacon. So I just got him this little pack of some like the real bacon pieces, like $1.27. He can just do whatever he wants with it, eggs, whatever. Uh, let's see, we're going to jump back here. We got some cocoa powder. Um, this is great for baking. And I also love this one because we put it in our smoothies a lot. This has... Um, you get some added um, nutrition as well. You can see you get some calcium in there. You get iron, potassium. Um, just check your labels. The carbs on here are absolutely zero. So you got two carbs and two fibers. So this makes it absolutely no carbs. So I love adding that to my smoothies sometimes just for some added nutrition as well. Then I also got a container of some salad dressing. Just obviously make salads <laughs> um and then i also got some like some treats for myself and for the kids um so for my daughter i got her this Ghirardelli intense dark the twilight delight and as far as i know this one is a vegan one um just always check your labels yes this one is vegan i think we've gotten this one once before i don't know if it says certified on there but yes it is um for my son i got him this one here um, and this one, and this one was only a dollar, the Walmart one. Um, and then I think the Ghirardelli was like $2.14. And then for them, for their milk, um, I got them these fun little milk straws. If you haven't seen these, they have like little, like beads in there and they just put them in their gla glass of milk and they can just drink it and it makes it into chocolate milk. So my daughter obviously does the non, uh, non-dairy milk and my son does the regular milk. And then for myself, I got these Sam's Choice. Oops, almost dropped them off the table here. Um, Sam's Choice Swiss Dark Chocolate. This is 90% chocolate. I'm going to turn the label over so you guys can see. Um, here are the ingredients. Totally vegan. Um, and what I like about this is when you look at the carbs, there are three servings or three and a half servings per container. Um, and the carbohydrates are five and the fiber is four. So that makes it only one net carb, which means this whole bar is only three and a half net carbs. So what I usually like to do with this is I will melt it down, I break it up, I melt it down, I will put a little bit of maybe that Lacanto sweetener, or sometimes I'll use some of my um, Jordan like skinny syrups, and I will add a little bit of that. I do some coconut oil in there for some extra fat, and what I do is I put them in little mini like um, cupcake liners and let it like harden up. You can even add nuts and things to it, or even some peanut butter, make like little peanut butter cups. And kind of make your little your own little keto chocolates and they're very low net carb so i got three of these that way i just have them on hand i'm not usually a sweets eater so much but i don't know for some reason lately when we've been home i've been wanting a little bit something sweet at night so this will be perfect like i said i'm gonna make myself some bunch of little keto um 
little sweet little fat bombs they call as they call them and that'll be very satisfying to have so this was all our pantry i guess you know pantry shelf stable items i'm gonna put this away guys and then i'm gonna take out all the cold stuff and we're gonna hopefully we're gonna get through this this uh, grocery haul, like I said, it is a long one. If you want to pause right here, go get a drink, go get a snack while I go get the cold stuff. Um, go get go get your drink, your snack, and come right back, and we will get into the cold grocery items. All right, guys, so we are back with the cold items, and I also have the non-food items. I was able to get everything on the table, because you'll actually see in my ShopRite, my ShopRite haul, haul, I think I got a lot more like cold items, because um, I kind of went back and forth checking to see what the best prices were, because I was... You know, also trying to, you know, still be within my budget for the month. You guys know I usually spend 100 to $150 a week. So I'm still trying to trying to be as budget friendly as possible. Um, so, like I said, we got the cold stuff. We've got the um, non-food items. And let's get into this. So, we got some eggs over here. Um, I got, like I said, we can only get two. And um, I would have bought like two like different types of eggs of each if they had them, but they don't, this is, was all they had because my boys like to eat eggs. But anyways, this sh should hopefully hold them off. We do have some left still. Um, so they are the two, I got two of the 18 packs. And I think these were, I think right around $3 each, I believe, maybe two sixty eight, dollars something like that. They weren't too bad. Um, I also um, ordered them some breakfast sausage. So I had ordered them the two of these. This is the pork one. They usually do prefer, I usually prefer to get them the turkey ones, but like I said, you can only get two of each. So I got, and I wanted to last them for the whole month. But you will see they they substituted with something that's gonna, will last them. Anyways, I got two of the regular ones here. These are usually $1.07. And then I ordered two of the same, but the turkey ones. They were all out, so what they did was they subbed me with these huge bags of the tur turkey breakfast patties. These are normally, I think, like $5.68. They only charged me $1.07 for each of these. So my boys are gonna have breakfast sausage for quite a while. So this will definitely last them. We also do breakfast for dinner a lot of times, so this will be will come in handy as well. Um, they also love the patties too because they, you know, they're great to you know make sandwiches with. So what a great substitution, and you know, happy that you know they subbed it with a good, you know, something really good. Anyways, uh, we also got lots of butter because this is probably more than we need for a month, but you know. Some of the things I've been noticing have been going out of stock. So even if it's something we may not, you know, use it all up in a month, I just want to make sure we have it on hand for a while. So this, like I said, is just for my boys. This is the two pack of the regular um, Great Valley Sweet Cream Butter. These are, I think, $5 and change, I think about, um, for the two, the two packs. So I got two of the two packs. So like I said, that will last a long time. And I also got some more cream cheese for my son. We didn't get bagels in this order. I actually ordered the bagels from ShopRite, which you will, I, I believe, which you will see, like I said, on Tuesday. Um, but I got, he still does have a two pack from a couple weeks ago, but I just wanted to have this on hand as well because like I said, these are the things that I've noticed have been kind of going out of stock. So I just wanted to grab them so we have them on hand. Um, and he likes to have his cream cheese on his bagels. Um, so these were, I think these were only, um, I think only like a dollar, like a dollar 68 for the two pack. It's, it's, this is cheaper to buy them in the two pack rather than getting them in the single packs. Um, so we got two of those. This was a substitution. Now I don't understand sometimes Walmart will substitute a vegan item with a non-vegan item. So I don't know if they're just not paying attention or why, but this was supposed to be the earth balance butter. Um, I did get that in my last grocery haul. If you didn't see it, I'll leave it linked right above here for you guys. Um, but we had gotten, I had only ordered one of them because I did order, order a bunch of vegan butter from ShopRite as well. But I just wanted to make sure, just on an odd chance, that ShopRite has some things that are not available. I just wanted to make sure we had it. Anyways, this was supposed to be the Earth Balance, which is vegan, but they subbed it with the Lando Lakes regular butter. So my boys are gonna have lots of butter for a long, long time. Now, uh, as vegans, hopefully I get my vegan butter from ShopRite because I gotta have some vegan butter. And when you're keto, you gotta have your fat. So hopefully, hopefully we get some vegan butter. We do have a tiny bit left from last time, but not very much. Um, next, I ordered some the Beyond Burgers, which I'm so happy to finally get these back in my life again. If you're one of my regulars, you know I, be, I buy the Beyond Meat and the Beyond Burgers all the time. I love it so much. It is so keto friendly. They are very high in fat, so if you're somebody who watches fats, they are high fat. But 
I am somebody who does eat a higher fat, lower carb diet, so this is perfect. Um, you were only allowed to get two. They were, I think these were 448, but what they, they only had one. So what they did was they substituted with the Beyond Meat sausages, which are normally $7.99, and they only charged me the 448 price. So this is great. We love these as well. So I'm so, uh, so excited to have these because I actually was going to order them, um, but I'm glad that I didn't because I ended up getting them for a better price. Uh, let's see, back here, this was another substitution. I'm a little bit disappointed. Um, I ordered now it's like I said before my birthday's coming up I'm going to make I'm going to make keto cake but I also wanted to have some vegan ice cream now they don't really have any keto I know there's keto ice creams out there but they are not vegan um, so I was gonna have a little bit of a little bit of a treat and have some of the Ben it was the Ben and Jerry's um, I think it was peanut butter cookie ice cream I guess they were out of it so they subbed it subbed it with the halo top peanut butter cup ice cream I'm not the biggest fan of Halo Top, um, although the macros on here aren't that bad. So maybe the universe was telling me that, you know, I needed to be careful and just, you know, stick to the lower carb things. It's still a little bit of some carbs in there, but not too bad because you can see you got your total carbs, your fiber. Then you also subtract your sugar alcohol. So I think it comes out to be like maybe around seven net carbs, um, you know, per serving, two thirds of a cup. Not too bad. I mean, you know, I usually don't eat things that are that high carb but like I said I was going to eat the regular ice cream as it was um so we'll give this a try I don't know if I've had the peanut butter cup one before like I said I'm not really the biggest fan of the halo top let me know down below are you a fan of the halo top ice cream if you are what is your favorite I would love to hear from you guys um so like I said that was a substitution another substitution which is a it was a, supposed to be a vegan item and they subbed with a non-vegan item was the heavy it was supposed to be the silk whipping cream and this is what happened last time um they subbed it with a dairy item last time they subbed it with the half and half this time they subbed it with the traditional heavy whipping cream um so they did charge me the cheaper price because i think this was cheap this is cheaper than the silk one um, but it's fine. My son wants to try to make some homemade ice cream. So it all worked out in the end because we needed some heavy whipping cream for that. So we got two of those. But but in the end, I don't have my, my non-dairy whipping cream. So, you know, oh well. But at least he benefits from it. And we can also make some whipped cream with that too for him. Um, also got some tofu. I like to have this, you know, this is a you know great thing to have on hand because it is high protein, low carb. If you follow the low, a low carb or keto diet, um, you just can keep it in your fridge. It always has a long expiration as well. You can also freeze it. I do freeze it from time to time and it will actually change the texture a little bit. It almost makes it a little bit, I hate to use the word, the term meatier, but it kind of gives it like a more texture, more texture, um, instead of that like smooth texture. So, um, you know, try that out. Let me know if you, you know, if you ever try, if you've ever frozen your tofu and then defrosted it and tried it. Um, but it's pretty good as well. But like I said, I got, so I got four of these. These were, I think, two, $2.28 each. Um, there is another one that they have there. I think it's the House Foods brand um, that is only $1.44, but they've been out of that one as well because I usually like to stock up on that one because it's such a great price. Um, so that is it for, like I said, for the cold items. In the, shop, the ShopRite haul, you'll see a lot more cold items. Now let's get into the non-food items. So non-food items, I needed some, like, the, you know, freezer, like, zipper bags. I don't like to say Ziploc because I know that's a name brand, but zipper bags, um, just for like some food storage. I don't use these very often, but just for certain things in my freezer. Um, cause I do have a lot of like freezer bowls. So I try to use that, um, like reusable items when I'm freezing things, but just certain things you need to put in a baggie. Um, so I got the quart size and these were $1.98. I got 50 of the quart size. Um, and then I got one box of the, what, how many on here? 40 of the gallon. Yeah. Gallon size. Um, and then I happened to see these, and these are just like little like twist bags. They come with a little twisty. And I thought since we were going to be making, and there's a hundred of them, and I think these were dollar ninety eight as well. Um, I figured I'm gonna be making some homemade bread, and it would be a great way just to store it. And you know they're very inexpensive. You get a hundred of them. This will last me probably forever. Um, so you know I'm glad to just replenish my stock on that. Also needed garbage bags, so we got a forty of the hefty. I think these were like six dollars and change. Um, another substitution was, um, this was supposed to be the great value, um, it was like a coconut, I think it was similar, like a coconut butter body wash, and it was like two of them you got for $1.50, 
and they must have been out of it. I know last time I ordered it as well, and they subbed it with a different one, but this time they gave me the Dove, and I know the Dove is probably, probably these are probably at least $5 each, I would think, 4 or $5, so that was a great, um, great substitution as well. They are, let's see, big bottles. They are 22 ounces, um, and like I said, I only spent, it was only $1.50 for the two of them. My daughter also requested face wash, and I'm actually running low as well. We're going to give this one a try, the Equate uh, Foaming Facial. It's similar to the Cera CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. So we're going to give that one a try. I think this that was like two, I think it was like two ninety eight, I believe. Um, let's see. I also, now, don't come for me. I know like Nicole Berger says, don't come for me because I got the paper plates. But my hands are killing me, guys. I don't have a dishwasher. And with everybody home and the constant meals and all, snacks and all this stuff, it's wearing, wearing my hands out, you know, and we're all trying to wash our hands excessively as it is anyway. So I bought some paper plates. They're going to last a while and bowls and things like that. So I got the big size plates. These are the everyday plates. Now, mostly we just use these. Most of the time we just use these for dinner, you know, lunches. The kids are using like smaller little plates and things like that. But so this will mostly be for dinners and like messier meals, you know, or, or if we make like a big breakfast or something like that. So we got a hundred of these. I think these were like $4.98. Um, then I also got some bowls as well. Now, I don't usually buy paper bowls, but like I said, I'm just trying to save my hands a little bit with everybody home. Now, this will be also for like dinner. So like if we do soup or, you know, if I was to do like a chili or something, something like that, I don't usually have them use these like for every little thing. So this will last a while as well. Um, I think these were the same price, like $4.98. We got 70 of those. Now these I thought, I didn't realize these were foam because I usually don't like to buy foam plates. I thought these were sort of like the paper, the thin, pa thinner paper plates. So I figured for like quick little things for the kids that, you know, they don't really need to have like the coated plates. Um, but I guess it wasn't. So anyways, these were I think $1.98. They are foam ones. It's okay. But I just figured just to have some extra little plates for any other little, little things where we don't need the bigger plates. Um, and there was 50 of those. All right. So I also got some parchment paper as well. This was two ninety eight. I usually get my parchment paper at Dollar Tree. Not sure what the square footage is of the one in Dollar Tree. Let me know down below if you know if this is a better value than the one at Dollar Tree. I just don't remember. It's been a while since I've been to Dollar Tree, obviously, since we've been in a lockdown. I really miss it, and I keep saying it, but... So I just needed that. I usually put on my baking sheets and stuff like that, and, um, you know, just kind of protects the pans. Um, let's see. Also said, we got some birthdays coming up. I know. Keep saying it. My son and I, we're only a day apart our birthdays, but many years apart, <laughs> obviously. Um, so I got pink. Pink is my favorite color. If you're one of my regulars, you know, pink is my favorite color. And I got him the yellow plates. These were, um, let's see, get 24 plates in each. And these were, I believe these were only like 90, 98 cents. I probably should have just gotten these instead of the foam ones. Well, I didn't really say they were foam. Anyway, so we got those colors and they actually kind of go good together too, which is kind of cool. So got those. So I also got a shower liner. So if you uh, have not ever done a Walmart pickup, they do have other items because besides food, they can't get everything, but you know, just put it in the, you know, search, you know, button in the top and, you know, and you may be able to find some things that you may need for around the house, you know, so you don't have to go, especially nowadays where you don't have to go into the stores. Um, so like I said, needed a shower curtain liner. So I got that. I think this is only like, like $2, around $2. Uh, let's see. Also needed some sponges. Another thing that I love to get at Dollar Tree are my sponges because they are so much cheaper. Um, but unfortunately I'm not getting Dollar Tree. So I got these scotch Bright ones. These are the clean, um, the, the, the cleaner clean ones. There are, let's see, three in here. Um, I think these were a dollar, dollar ninety eight for three, which is not, you know, which is not too bad. Um, they must have substituted. It looks like I don't know if they're different. Yeah, one is like the square. One looks like it's like a different shape. I don't know if they just substituted one or just one's a newer version. Whatever. Same thing. Doesn't matter. And then uh, let's see. Last thing needed some. Wanted to just have some razors on hand. These are the Equate three blade. There are four in here, so I got two of those, and I believe those were. I think around three dollars i don't think they were too bad like 324 maybe for for four of them i know rice razors can get a little pricey so that was it for our non-food items and for our you know cold items so anyways guys i really hope you enjoyed today's grocery haul make sure before you leave make sure that you subscribe if you are new here make sure you also hit the bell notification so you know when the videos are up and you can watch them 
Um, and also, I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy through this time. Um, I know before I mentioned how like peanut butter was kind of my thing that I've been, or my, and the chocolate has been my go-to thing lately since we've been in this lockdown. Let me know down below. Let me know what has been your go-to food, you know, your comfort food, whether you are keto or not keto, what, whatever whatever it is. I don't care whether it's vegan, not, ve not vegan. Let me know down below in the comments. I would love to know what your go-to little snack, treat, whatever, meal, whatever it is that you have been enjoying eating to make you feel comforted in this crazy time that is going on right now. Um, and also let me know down below. Like, you know, I know, you know, we are supposed to, our school is supposedly going back at the beginning of May, but I don't think it's going to happen. Let me know where you are, what's going on, where you live. I know we all live all over, you know, different you know, different states and different things have been going on. Um, so let's talk down below in the comments. So like I said before, everybody, please stay safe and healthy. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit the bell so that way you can see the next videos that are coming up. See my other grocery hauls this week. Um, and as always, guys, I thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you soon. Bye, guys. Hey guys, I have a few extra things. Um, I wanted to insert this clip when my son wasn't around. He's actually upstairs right now, so he can't hear me. I know I mentioned it is our birthdays coming up in, in the beginning of May, so I had a few treats that I wanted to have. I usually leave them like a, a couple little special things in their room in the morning when they get up, um, you know, and then obviously they get like birthday gifts and things like that. Um, but I just wanted to share with you guys what I got. So they have these new Kit Kat bars and they are birthday cake flavors. So I thought that would be kind of cool. I also found him these Jolly Rancher Misfits. It's like two in one gummies. He loves all kinds of like gummies and things like that. His favorite is Swedish fish. So I got him a box of Swedish fish. I don't know, I feel like I can't ever say that. Swedish fish. <laughs> I also got him this big bag of the Sour Patch Strawberry. I know he loves these. Um, let's see, this is a 10 ounce bag as well. So just a few little treats. I like to kind of, you know, when they wake up in the morning, normally I would get them like a balloon too. It is actually his 16th birthday. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get out and get him like this, the big 16 birthday balloons, which I'm sad to say. Hopefully at some point, once we get out of this, you know, quarantine lockdown, I'll be able to do that. We can, you know, celebrate a little bit more, but we're going to do what we can do for now. Um, so I would also love for you guys, and I think it would be really special for him as well. And, and just would make me feel really, you know, feel really great as well because it is his 16th birthday. If you guys could just wish him a happy birthday down below in the comments, I would love for you guys to do that for him. Um, being that we have to spend this, our, you know, not so much for me because it's just for me, you know, it's just another birthday, you know, but for him, it is his, it is his 16th birthday. So I want to try to make it as special as possible. So I would love for you guys, please, as many people as you can, if you guys could just wish him happy birthday um, down below, it would just mean the world to me and to him as well. So just make sure you leave those comments down below. I really would love love for him to, you know, have this birthday real be as special as it can be under the circumstances. So guys, um, thank you again for watching. And until next time, I will see you soon. Bye guys.